seniors Marcus and Malcolm Del Pesh are members of the residential life staff at Bates. So they know how important it is for Bates students to look after their fellow Bobcats. We all play a part in just uh, promoting an uh, environment where everyone just feels safe and included. One way to make sure students feel safe and included is through bystander intervention, specifically the Green Dot program. With Green Dot, we're primarily focusing on dating and domestic violence, stalking, uh, partner violence, and sexual assault. The Green Dot program trains students, faculty, and staff how to react to potential problems on campus, known as red dots, and how to proactively make Bates a place where power-based personal violence will not be tolerated. The Green Dot program is a team effort, and there's power in the Bates numbers. More than 400 current Bates students have been certified. Not everyone has to do everything, but everyone can do something. As leaders on and off the basketball court, the Del Pesh twins organize a successful effort to get their teammates Green Dot certified. Especially having two people who are already certified, being able to relay that to the team and tell them what to expect and what the process is going to be like, which is like really enjoyable in a short experience. And the five hours you end up going through is actually, they really make it a really inter interactive experience, something that you'll remember. You know, I think any th time we get together and kind of commit to something, it's not only you know, team body and exercise, but it shows that we as a team are committed to something you know, bigger than ourselves. The men's basketball team is so committed to Green Dot that assistant coach Tommy Verdell is now a facilitator for the program, training others to become active bystanders. As a human being, how could you not be interested in it? Um, and I'm a father of two and I coach you know, student athletes so the campus well-being and the campus culture is very important to me. But then if you don't do anything, if you don't communicate any of these norms, if you don't proactively intervene, reactively intervene, nobody's going to know and we're not going to shift those norms. I would say that students who haven't been trained should come and check out a Green Dot training. Uh, it's really not that bad. We like to have a good time and it's fun. And also it's lifelong skills that you can take with you after Bates and when you go into the world. It's not just something that you can practice here. And those moments when you get that gut feeling and you don't know what to do, we're just helping you kind of intentionally tease through what are my options? What is a way that I can confidently intervene? What's realistic to me? And how do I promote a culture that shows that everyone has a stake in preventing power-based personal violence and that we don't really tolerate it in our community?